All right, guys. It's finally talk and show you some Gray Zone Warfare nighttime footage. I know it's been a little bit since we uploaded some Gray Zone Warfare footage on the channel, um, but it's back to finally talking a little bit about Gray Zone Warfare. Time to start revving up those engines a little bit as we get towards some of that hype for this update that is coming later this year, um, which is being you know, the point two update, the day and night update, the wipe, whatever you might want to call it. It is getting time as we rev up our engines and get ready for that update. And I hopefully you guys are still excited for the game. I still am excited for the future of the game. I'm so excited to see where it goes. And if you guys are excited for some Grey Zone Warfare, make sure you guys drop that sub. I'll be always talking about Grey Zone Warfare on this channel. I love this game. I'm excited to see the development of this game down the line. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. But in today's video, we're going to be focused on talking about the day and night update because the team over at Madfinger Games gave us an early look and let us see some of this footage early on so you guys can see it before the live stream that's happening today. And we're going to take a look at some of this footage and discuss it with you guys, give me my first early impressions from what I've seen. On top of this, guys, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on September 6th, which is two hours from this video going live, Grayzone is doing a live stream for the exclusive first look at the day and night cycle on their Twitch channel. I'll be live reacting to it as well while it's happening, so make sure you guys stop by my Twitch channel because I'll be yapping with my community, and if you guys watch me for Grayzone Warfare content, we'll be live streaming it over on Twitch and reacting to it and talking about it and getting your feedback there as well. So early on, what I want to talk about, it's going to be the inclusion of flashlights and tactical attachments. Finally, from the looks of things, we're getting some actual in-game attachments for our guns other than just foregrips. We get to see what looks like some flashlight footage of clearing out the bunkers underground and how it looks. It really does look really immersive. I will say that much. Um, I'm excited to see how this plays out, especially if in daytime when you're clearing out some of those darker areas, having those flashlights helps a ton. So in addition to flashlights, we get to take a look here and see what tack lasers are going to look like when you're fighting against enemy opponents or other players. It looks like it's going to be 100% accurate from what I'm telling from this footage. Obviously, we don't know until we get our hands on it and try that out, but that's going to impact fights a lot because the fact that you don't have to aim down sights now is actually crazy um what we have here also some mp5 gameplay footage so if you guys are excited for some mp5 man i love this gun this gun is absolutely one of the most classic fps guns out there um so definitely excited to try this out hopefully fingers crossed 9x19 is a really viable ammo. As we know before, 9x19 did struggle to be usable, especially with pistols. So we're going to see how this 9x19 uses with the MP5. But you can bet when the wipe happens, when this drop happens, I'll be rocking the MP5 a lot and giving you guys my feedback on it. The next thing I want to talk about here is the nods. What's the monocle type of night vision that you might have as an option? It looks pretty hard to see. And I'm, you know, obviously, night vision isn't like something that's going to give you perfect clarity at night. But it seems like it's going to be pretty well balanced as far as being able to tell where enemies are and other players are. We're going to have to see how this plays out. It doesn't play out like other night visions and games where it just completely ticks up your screen, which is what Grey Zone Warfare is going for with Immersion. However, I'm going to, I'm just, it looks a little difficult to see. And it's going to be a question of, is this really viable to run? Um, but obviously, I think that there's going to be a little bit more tweaking to it. I think they can add a little bit more clarity to it. A little bit of reduction on the noise would be my opinion. But what do you guys think about the night vision goggles? So this right here is more of my personal favorite. This is the white phosphorus NVGs. Um, these are more of a goggle style. So as you can tell, you have both eyelids or eye cups, excuse me. Um, and I personally, if I had a preference between running the two, I'm going to be running this one right here. Let me know which one you guys prefer. Do you guys prefer the monocle one, which is the green NVGs or the white phosphorus NVGs. So that about sums it up, guys. I mean, I really talked about a lot there. I'm excited for a lot with this game. There's a lot to talk about, especially with tomorrow's live stream. We're going to see some more of that tomorrow. The live stream for Mad Fingers is going to be at 1 p.m. EST. I will personally be live, like I said, at 12.45 EST, so 15 minutes before. If you want to come over to my Twitch channel, we'll be reacting to it live and talking about it live as well. Um, so we'll get some of that feedback in there. So if you guys want to yap with me live, catch me live streaming it over there. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. I'm excited for this update. I mean, I really do think that the game has a long way to go, but I do think that there's a lot of good potential stuff here for the game. So there's a lot of stuff coming with this day and night cycle. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Let me know down below in the comment again, what you guys are most excited for. And obviously if you guys enjoyed the video, a like goes a super long way, like I mentioned, but if you guys want to watch more of my content, a sub also helps me grow each and every day. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for taking time out every day. I'll catch you guys live streaming over on Twitch. See you guys. Peace.